All right, the next section we're going to talk about is collaborating and communicating. Uh, we'll go over basic communication, discussion board that you're probably already familiar with, and groups, how to use groups to rearrange your students. The first part of that is, is the basic communication stuff we've been doing in Blackboard for years, emailing your class, announcements, and what's new, the notification system. With most of this, the metaphor for Blackboard, what Blackboard is and how Blackboard works between you and your students is still the same. The buttons have been moved around. So now to email your class, you need to slide down the page. And under Course Tools, you want to send email. And this is the same interface you're used to. I'm not going to go over this because you've done this already. Right? You have the same, the same choices here, and it's the same tool. All users, single select users, type in a title, and hit send. It's just, it's just you need to know where to find it. it. It's still the same tool. And in much the same way, announcements are also under course tools. And now this is pretty much the tool you've seen already. Right? Once you're on the page, you click Create Announcement. I have the edit mode on, or I wouldn't see, I've seen that button. We're going to type in a subject, Welcome to Blackboard. That's going to appear out on the entry page, where everybody sees it before they get in, into the site. And then the, the text of the message. Uh, this is the new interface for Blackboard 9. So when I scroll down here, you're going to see that you still have the permanent and date restricted to choices that you had before. But you also have, this is new, override user notification settings. In the notification settings, users can choose to or not choose to get notifications. Uh, you can set it up so everything, every time that something new goes into your course, an email is automatically generated to all the members of the course. The users can opt in or out of that. They don't have to take all of those except for this one. When you click this, this override, now this is going to be emailed to, and this is the same tool you had before. Right? You can email the announcement to all your students. And it's good because you get them twice. You get them with that email that they all get in their regular daily email. And then you get them again when they come into the course and the announcements, announcement is up there. All right, the next feature is discussion boards. And again, you've had these before. If we switch into Blackboard, discussion boards have existed for the last several versions of Blackboard. Uh, you have a link on the left to discussions. And this is the same process you're used to. Create forum, give the forum a name, uh, discussing Blackboard 9. Uh, if you need to, you can put a description here. You don't have to. That's not a requirement. You can restrict the dates, uh, make the same decisions we made about anonymous posting. And when you're happy with this, click Submit. And then either you or your students will click the link into the discussion board and create the first thread. And this is essentially the same tool. And it's really one of the basic, one of the easiest to use uh, non-synchronous ways of communicating with your students. So you can divide the class into groups. You can have uh, the, the class be a group. You can have one person be a group. Or you can break the, the class into groups of three or four students, whatever works for how you teach. This is still basically the same tool that you had before. Now it's over here in the bottom left-hand corner in the control panel section. And under Users and Groups is Groups. And you can create either a single group with choices to self-enroll or manual enroll, or a group set. So now you can decide to create A group set.
groups available? What tools are we going to give them? So I want to put three students in a group and distribute the remaining among the group. This is just going to randomly create groups from my class. I don't have to give this any, any, any thought at all. Just pick how many groups you want and how many people it's going to be. Any questions or comments, you can either email fcshelp at hofstra.edu or call Faculty Computing Support at 516-463-6894. I'm Paul Carson, and this is the Instructional Design Team from Hofstra University. Thank you.